Hey, Wapsa here. Open source demos are amazing. And I recently found a really amazing this one. Uh, this is 2D point and click character movement in isometric perspective. So much yeah, to be learned by exploring this one. This bunch of code used and it's so useful. You can use it in your own projects. It's MIT license and uh, it works so flawlessly so fast and responsive and yet really simple to implement if you you know explore the code so in today's video let's explore this one and uh, let's get started uh first of all let's go ahead and click the and uh, go to the movement util script here in the you know inspector this is the main script that is being used here uh, but basically it's happening is that uh, the player uh, when clicks the mouse uh, we are giving it the start position where the position of the player is then where where you click your mouse is the target position and it's you know getting reference to to our tile map and the layer you know the layer that you, you you've been clicked on stuff like that then of course uh, there's some you know start position and you know these printouts and uh, what you do is now you convert the width position to the tile coordinates, uh, which is uh, we, we like learned this in another video, which is local to map. Uh, we used it in one of our videos and uh, you can then get do the same for the target position, which is, you know, the position you can move to. Of course, then you print it out. These are just for, you know, debugging purposes. You can remove them. Uh, then what we do is uh, we check if the start position and the end position are the same. Uh, that uh, that in that case you won't you know bugging out on moving to the same tile. So we just check for that if the position is start position is you know equal to the end position. Then of course we print it out. So you know uh, if the position is same, then we just tell the player you're giving the same position, you dumbass, and we just you return to the packed array right here so you know checking again and stuff like that and uh, then we, what we do is uh, if that doesn't happen we can do is we get all the walkable tiles and excluding the blocking tiles so what we do is we create a variable for all the tiles and we get the uh, tile map uh, dot get used cell and all tiles uh, that the tile map node is has a reference to the tile map layer that we are working on which we assign via you know implemented this function this is based on you know composition so you can use it anywhere it's not like rigid on one thing you give it value here and it's going to work everywhere then of course you go to you know check the walkable tiles and uh, uh, if they are walkable or not i mean if they have you know all the size uh, you know so we're gonna, gonna check the uh, get the size here of the tiles the total number of tiles i'm gonna check uh, you know the, the position if there's something there and uh, then we filter out the styles uh, by using this code then we go what we do is we create a new a star a star is uh, you know the pathfinding function for tiles mainly used for tile maps and uh, we when we get do is we add the point for all the walkable tiles so we're gonna just uh, assign these are the points that can be you know walked and uh, then uh, whatever where we move you know you know connect to their neighbors and basically you know you do all these uh tiny gritty things like uh checking the oriental neighbors for you know isometric grids you know for checking if they are you know on the same layer and stuff like that and uh, then we start get the start and the endpoints id uh, that we uh, you know the it, since every single point is given an id we get the id of the started endpoint and uh, then we basically give the a star the start ending and the end id and ask it to create a you know path between them and then it's going to give us a you know tile path and uh, we you know use it in the world coordinates to you know uh, like, like uh, include all the points to ensure precise center and you know stuff like that so it's moving in a grid system and uh, then we just get to the size of the thing and uh, at the, the end, we just convert the, the 2D you know, coordinates to unique IDs and, uh, you know, the same things there. So you're just uh, doing, you know, 
this orientation for since we're using the isometric tiles so we are just uh, on, you know so only the oriental neighbors for isometric grids are like working and stuff like that and that's just basically the you know uh premise of this uh if you can't understand anything from my explanation a tip here is you can just copy and paste the code to uh, AI tool like ChatGPT and ask it to explain any parts you don't understand. Uh, let's go to the player script. And uh, it's using this, since it's a, you know, uh, global and which we use called an auto load. Uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we, you know, uh, these are, this is where we get the input from the, you know, click on the tiles and we get the global position and we you know like uh, store it in the variables and uh, we get uh, a new path that was created from the you know our function and we're gonna check in the layers and stuff like that we click position on which layer it has been clicked and based on that we're gonna decide if their place is walkable or not and uh, then we just uh, use a uh, again like minus the W position from the global position and uh, like just move it from there and we just move it uh, according to the directions and we get like the direction from by doing that and move it by movement speed and we just check for length and stuff and uh, you know doing all of these debugging and stuff and uh, basically we just uh, check if the path is empty if there's something at in the way and and we just move the player to the target position the tile map has a cool thing which is the hover effect so whenever a tile is on a tile it gives that hover effect and it's basically that's you can explore it more by downloading downloading the project yourself and let's run the scene one more time and let's try it out if we click on a tile it's gonna you know print it out all the directions and you know movement and how many tiles it moved and all the stuff like that there's too much printing you can remove that uh, if you don't want it and that's kind of it you can replace this guy with your player and start building out from right here if you want uh, anything you want it's a freaking open source demo and I, I, I think that's it for this video and uh, let me give you a reminder that I am hosting the like uh, second of the studios game jam and uh, I hope you join and submit your awesome maybe isometric games and uh, just try it out as game jams are really good ways to learn and uh, you'll find the link in the description and I really really request you and I hope that you join out you'll be really welcome and if you know how to host a jam I really need help right here you can hit me up on the discord server a uh, link to that would be in the description or my channels you know bio or stuff like that and you can join the discord server you can message me there uh, and uh, play, uh, like help me out hosting the jam and i'll really appreciate that and i'll see you guys in the next one